We've administered 88.2% uh, of vaccines on hand as of today. So we've had more than a million do doses delivered to the Defense Department, 1,039,665 to be exact. And we've administered 916,575. And we expect by Friday, by the end of the week, uh, to be over the 1 million mark. I hear the, the argument that you don't get all the data that you, you think we should have or, or, or what, but this is, this is data that we have, we have put out before, uh, doses delivered and doses uh, administered. And of those, I can update you if you want. The initial dose is 644,762. That's the number of people that have had one. Um, and 271,813 uh, individuals in the department have, uh, have received their second dose. Nobody's hiding data. Uh, there'd be no reason for us to hide data when we can certainly tell you exactly how many people are getting the vaccines. Um, if there's uh, something more to what my understanding is of what was testified today, uh, I, will, I promise you I will get it to you. But nobody's trying to hide anything here. Uh, it's, uh, it's in our interest to be as open and as transparent as we can. Uh, and we're, we're trying to do that. Uh, people, it's a voluntary vaccine. People uh, decide for themselves if they want it or not. And we have to respect that decision-making process. And while I understand the thirst for data, I hope you'll understand the, our obligations to make it available to as many uh, members of the military and their families as we can as possible. We're going through a very phased uh, approach to do that.